Welcome back. You're watching First Local. Waiting lists for long-term care in our region are about to become a lot shorter. First Local's Diana Bombaca explains why and explores what has to be done next to keep it that way. As baby boomers age and approach the senior demographic, the need for long-term care facilities could reach critical proportions. Donna Rubin, advocate for seniors housing, says the provincial government has to increase funding now. In 20 years, um, 15 even, 10, 15, 20 years, we're going to need an awful lot of new infrastructure. And so we better get started on building that now. There are 75,000 people in Ontario that require 24-hour care. The recent provincial budget has allocated another $2.5 billion to help pay for supported living. As a result, 16 new facilities will open in Peel by the end of the year, reducing long waiting lists and the risk of overcrowding in the future. We were severely underbedded um, three years ago. There were up to 2,000 people on the wait list in Peel. And the good news story for Peel residents is because of the uh, 16 new centres opening up by the end of this year, um, people are getting their choices. Before the budget, Ontario ranked among the lowest in the country in terms of dollars so spent example, on long-term care. We needed about a $25 a day increase in long-term care to get us in line with some of these other jurisdictions. And we've been making some headway. Government has made investments over the last number of years, but we're not completely there yet. Despite this, the region is benefiting from the new provincial investments. The government had pledged that long-term care was important. Uh, community services were also a priority. And what we saw were, despite all the signals of economic restraint, some, some real significant dollars going towards the sector. Because we're the most underbedded, um, we had the most new centres built in this last three-year period. Um, the province approved 20,000 new beds. Funding for long-term care facilities comes mostly from the province, but also from the clients. Rubin says the government pays about $117 per person per day and clients pay about $57, depending on the type of room they're in. In Peel's case, the Regional Council sometimes provides funding where necessary. So uh, right now we're probably in the best shape with the most beds. Uh, we do know we have an aging population though, and by 2010 or 11, we could potentially be in a situation that we need more beds again. The demographics show that the 85 plus age group that we serve is going to quadruple by 2028. So we've got to plan now. Though the forecast increase in our senior population is dramatic, Reuben is relieved to see waiting lists are currently decreasing as beds open up. The biggest success has been uh, the creation of the new facilities because it took some foresight to say we really need to do that. In Mississauga, I'm Diana Bombaca for First Local.